Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in this video, we are going to discuss about one of the best and free way to start your programming journey by learning Python language. Yes, now you can start your programming journey and take your preparation from basic to advanced level by enrolling in guided path of Python by Code Studio. And you can master the topics like input and output, operators, conditional statements, loops, list, string, collection, and many more topics. Now, what is this guided path and why you should enroll in this guided path? Okay, what benefits you will get? See, the guided path covers from basic to advanced level topics in a structured way with detailed notes. Plus, after notes, you will get some practice questions for all the topics covered. So, notes plus practice questions, MCQs on all the topics right and all the important topics would be covered in this guided path like from introduction to basic topics introduction topics like features of python macros comments to how to write down a, how to implement a code how to write down your first program in python to advanced topics like input and output uh, control statements if else loops data types like uh, list strings uh, collections and many more topics an average time required to complete this guided path is 25 days. Plus not only this, after completing 80% uh, of this path, you will get a free certificate, right? Now, how you can enroll in this guided path, why, you know, how you should go to this guided path, right? Means how to proceed once you uh, go for this guided path, how to log in what modules, uh, you know, how many modules are there, what content you will get here, everything now I'm going to show you. See, all the relevant links and details I'll put in the description box of this video. You can check out, you can click on that link and you will be redirected to that page. Now, see, so now see how you can follow this guided path. Okay, uh, the link I'll put in the description box of this video, when, when uh, you know, once you will click on that link, you will be redirected to this page. Now, first of all, you have to log in. There is a login button. You have to enter, you can start your code studio with Google or Facebook account or you can log in. You, you can enter your email address. Then this continue button will be highlighted and then you will get an OTP, right? You just enter your uh, that OTP and you can successfully, you will be logged in, right? So first of all, you have to log in. Next thing, you just go to the guided path uh, you know, tab like this. Here you will get this tab, explore guided path categories in this on this website. So there are many guided path here, you will get guided path for, for Python, basics of Python. You can just click on start learning, right? After start, click on start learning, you will get a page something like this. Now let me show you the modules. Here in this path, you will get total 11 modules, right? So in the first module, first of all, introduction, introduction, introduction to Python, notes plus practice question, notes plus MCQs. So once you click on the first one introduction, see, you will get notes, introduction to Python and all, right? See, introduction to Python, how to get started with Python, how to download Python, Python comments, this. Then MCQs, then questions on all the topics covered till now. On these, you will get these MCQs, right? So you can select your answer and you can go for submit and next, right? Now, like this, in each module, this kind of thing you will get first notes, then uh, the uh, MCQs and practice problems. In second module, variables and data types, like introduction to variables and data types, variables in memory, scope of variables, type casting, and then uh, practice questions also. So uh, 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 let me just click on this attempt first. Then variables, introduction to variables, the notes, then data types, notes, right? Then questions, valid variable names. MCQs on this topic, then valid variable names, second part, then on data types also. Then theory, variables in memory, theory part here, variables in memory, right? You can click on this and you will find out this. Then scope of variables, variable scope, local scope, global scope, and then MCQs on these topics covered like this. For each uh, module, you will get this kind of pattern, right? So next module is basic input output in Python, like what is this print statement, how to take input from user, then practice problems. See, let me just click on these practice problems. Here you have to write down code. See, 
first uh, is find area of rectangle you will click on this right and this is the problem statement take the input uh, take the length and breadth as input and find the area so you can write down your program here you can just select the language obviously you are learning python so you will select python and you can write down your code here then you can submit your code right like this you will get practice problems print name and age swap two numbers calculate simple interest these kind of things and after that in fourth module operators in python all the type of operators theory plus mcqs plus practice problems as well then conditional statements and loops same conditional statements then loops then break continue pass return statement then practice problems right mcqs plus at last practice problems as well you have to write down programs then functions in python types of function function overloading scope of variables everything then list in python you will get like this in each module then string then object oriented oops concept in python constructor then inheritance and then you can say polymorphism ab abstraction these things then exception hand exception handling in python right and then in the last module 11th module collection what is collection in python right so this these are 11 module here you will get notes plus some mcqs plus some practice problems right and one more thing after completing this if you have more doubt you can go to their faq section also right and after completing these after 80% uh, of the completion you if you have completed 80% of this module then you can download this unlock this free certificate without penalty right this is the certificate right you can earn certificate of completion now what are prerequisites you have to know you have to be you know familiar with you know, just basic aptitude right you can learn python language it's very easy so if you are a beginner then you can go for this thing because here you will get they are going to start from introduction basic to advanced topics plus in a structured way you will get plus at the same place you will get theory notes uh, and mcqs plus practice problems right so all the relevant links and detail i'll put in the description box of this video you can go and check out and if you find this type of video helpful for you guys let me know in comment section so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care